destroys this entire industry. What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your man, VKJ. And if you're loving Wu Tang and you're brand new, definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button. Absolutely ring the notification bell. Uh, definitely like, share, and comment. We're going to break down episode four, recap the Wu Tang American saga. We're going to get right into it. Absolutely excited about this one right here because, again, we are building up to what is about to happen with the Wu Tang clan. So, we start off with Bobby. Bobby's on the boat now. He's on the Staten Island Ferry. That's what we call it, Staten Island Ferry. If you're from New York, that's what it's called, Staten Island Ferry. The tugboat, you know, it's the boat that goes from Staten Island to Manhattan. And what he's doing is, you know, he's trying to bring the crew together. He's trying to bring uh, the crew together, get them to squash the beef. Of course, we got Shy on the boat. Shy's on the boat. You know, that's his boy. But at the same time, Shy doesn't know that... Bobby invited also Dennis on a boat. And you know these two, they've been having beef for a long time since the first episode, right? Since the first season, they've been having beef. And, you know, Bobby's just trying to bring them all together. You know, they both stupid nice when it comes down to the lyrics, when it comes down to all of that. And he's trying to bring the woo together, trying to get them to squash the beef between each other. But, of course, Dennis is like, yo, you my boy, I follow you, man. But if you got this guy down, then I ain't down with it. So, you know, they're trying to figure it out. But, of course... You know, we got Divine, Bobby's brother, he's on the boat, and Bobby's just trying to get him to help out, talk to Dennis, you know, try to just get him to settle down, squash the beef between him and Shy so they could come together for the group's sake, for the group's sake, just to bring everything together. So, of course, Divine is like, I'm with that. But Divine doesn't know that Power, Bobby invited Power on the boat too. So, you know, these two have been having beef as well since season one. And Bobby's trying to bring them together. Power definitely, you know, he he's on the boat because he's down for business. He's down to, you know, do something else. You know, after his having his interaction with Mook in the last episode, he's like, yo, I need to do something different so I won't end up dead or in jail. And, you know, so <laughs> Dennis is super, super paranoid, but he's super, you know, he's looking at Shy like, man, I need to get back at him, need to get back at him. We both on this on this boat. Together, you know, somehow, some way, I'm going to get at Shy for, you know, doing what he did. And, uh, you know, D Devon is just like, yo, come on, man. We need to really, really, you know, just squash this. Bobby trying to put all of us together. So Dennis is trying to talk him down. Dennis is trying to get him to reason, you know, just be the voice of reason, just so he can get to the point of absolutely saying, yo, I'm with it so we can move forward. That's all he's trying to do is just get everybody to say, yo, we put the beef aside so we can move forward. Shy's talking to power. And of course, Shy is definitely getting that power. Like, yo, how power, how are you on this boat talking to Bobby and all of that? Do you remember what happened, you know, last time with Devon running up in your parents' spot, you know, and, and, and definitely rolling up on them and holding them up in the whole nine? Of course, power's like, yo, I remember that, B. I do. But at the same time, this right here is strictly business. You know, it's time to take it to the next level. You know, again, that conversation with Mook on the bus definitely gave him that reality perspective you know what i'm saying and power he definitely got his ear to the streets he definitely is well connected and that's exactly what the group needs and bobby knows it bobby's super smart he knows that power's super smart and power's connected to everybody in the hood and you're gonna need that you know most industry cats know you got a cat that's well connected to the hood that's definitely gonna promote the artist the group everything you know it's gonna make things even way better so absolutely you know, Sha, he like, man, listen, I'm always strapped. I'm always ready for whatever. You know what I mean? So, you know, this guy, Dennis, want to get at us? Well, guess what? I'm strapped up. I'm strapped up, ready. Asking power if power's ready and power, of course, he's always, you know, ready and strapped up. So, you know, they're just trying to talk and power's trying to talk him down. So Bobby, again, talking to power, understanding and letting power know, hey, listen, man, you know, I definitely need you to talk to Shy. I definitely need you to kind of bring this all together, man. You know, you kind of like the man when it comes down to the street and everything and bringing people together, organizing things. You know, I need you to help me organize this so we could do this for the group and do this for a business venture, you know, a big business venture that can pay us all off and actually bring all the brothers together. Everybody in Staten Island, Shy and Island can come together and, and form this incredible crew. So, of course, Power's like, yo, I'm with that, man. You know, Power definitely is looking... For other opportunities. 
So you, you look at Dennis. Dennis, at this point, he's super paranoid, right? You know, Dennis, as we recap the last episode, you know, Dennis got shot, right, in the neck, right? He, he had to be in the hospital in the whole nine. He came from Ohio to be with uh with Bobby, but he's looking, he's looking over, you know, his shoulder looking over Shy's shoulder and, and power, and he's like super paranoid. So you got Mr. Businessman on the on the ferry, he's selling, you know, he's selling Statue of Liberty, he's selling, you know, Empire State things, and he's definitely dropping knowledge on Bobby, definitely dropping knowledge on Dennis and Divine. And he's like, yo, I'm selling people stuff that they don't even want. So you already know. You know, he's just dropping a lot of science and absolutely really helping Bobby really kind of get his mind together as far as what he needs to say in order to make the group and form the group. You know, so he's learning a lot from this cat and he's also strapped as well. You know, so what is what does Dennis do? Dennis buys the strap off of the dude and now he's about to get at Shy and power like, yo, I payback, man. He, he tried to take out my moms, try to take out my brothers and all this and that. And of course, you know, Devon is just like, nah, what you doing, bro? What you doing, man? You got to, again, Devon's just trying to be the voice of reason. And Dennis is like, yo, man, you know, I had your back. I've been the most loyal to you. When Bobby got locked up, I was there, man, you know, having your back. And of course, we knew this was going to happen. You know, this conversation between Devon and Dennis was going to happen. But of course, Devon is like, yo, if you so loyal, you know, how was you going behind our back and messing with my sister? You know what I'm saying? And and that conversation definitely had to happen. You know, we knew that Devon, he was just going to be straight up like, yo, how you going to be with my sister and, and you're supposed to be loyal to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you do that behind my back? And of course, Dennis is like, oh, you know, you I'm good enough to be your, your right hand man, but I'm not good enough for your sister. And at that point, you know, Dennis just kind of like walks away because Devon is like, oh, dang, you know, I, I ain't put it like that. I ain't mean it like that at all. You know, but Dennis was just like, bro, it's like that. I could be loyal to you, but you don't think I'm going to be loyal to your sister. So Devon definitely gets to the point of sitting down with power. And what you what we don't know and what we find out is that Devon and power, they go way back to like, you know, a sandbox days. So they sit down, they reminiscing over things and, and chopping it up, kind of laughing it up and kind of, you know, squashing the beef, man. These guys are OGs when it comes down to. You know, Bobby and, and Dennis, you know, they're the OGs. They was the one running the show back in the day. So, you know, they was together and bonding and, and they know what they got to do to help this thing come together. So, of course, you got the, the dude on the speaker, the announcer, you know, he's announcing, hey, 10 minutes till we get to Manhattan, 15 minutes. But also, you know, the voice was the voice in Bobby's mind. Like, yo, you got to get this together. You absolutely, are you going to make it happen? We don't know if you're going to make it happen, man. We, you got 10 minutes to make this happen before the boat docks. So, you know, Sha, you know, he's on the boat and he's just like, man, this is, this is crazy, man. This is crazy. But he's talking to Power and Power's like, yo, just listen. Listen to what Bobby got to say. Just hear out Bobby what he got to say. And Bobby talks to all of them finally on the boat. And he's like, yo, you know, this is my ace right here. And I definitely want you guys to come together. You know, Shah's my ace, you know, and definitely these guys kind of like go back and forth. They face to face to each other and they about to, you know, take the straps out and get at each other. But Bobby's just like, yo, everybody just just shut up. Just shut up. I'm trying to break this down for y'all, man. Like we could do so much big things together, you know, instead of building it from the top down the way I tried it before. You know, it didn't work when I tried it by myself and then bringing y'all on. But it's going to work when we all work together. We're going to work it from the bottom up. Each one of us, each one of us playing our role, you know, and he definitely, definitely broke it down, man. He broke it down talking about, you know, Jet Li and, and um, you know, talking about the other great, great actors. Each one are different, but they all play an intricate role in our future in, in you know, movies and everything. So he's talking about, of course, of course, Divine. And Devon definitely has, you know, his uh, contractual uh, talents of reading things and breaking things down. So he's definitely smart about that. And he's breaking each one of their talents down so they can realize that each one of them have an intricate part in forming this mega group, this legendary group. So he's breaking down Dennis, 
saying Shaz, his man, that's his ace, and he's stupid nice when it comes down to the lyrics, when it comes down to writing, when it comes down to all of that. And he's breaking it down. He's letting, you know, Dennis know that not only is, is he nice with it, but also he's his brother. And he's letting everybody know that they're all brothers. Power got his connection to the street. And with his connection to the street, it definitely could take the woo to the next level all over the country because he got, you know, connections in all different parts of the country. Not just that Island, not just Manhattan, but all over because he's been everywhere. He got connections everywhere. So, you know, Bobby broke it down real dope as far as making sure they know each one is a chess piece and, you know, and, and everybody together have to move together as one. And once Bobby broke that down the way that he did, which was absolutely genius, absolutely magnificent, like absolutely, they were like, man, like we get it. We, we finally going to get it. We finally need to put down the beef. We could be greater together than apart, greater together as a group, as a team, than apart. So absolutely, they 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 now going back to Shaolin, going back to Staten Island, and they just like, yo, we're going to make this happen, man. We're going to make this happen. And that's what it's all about. They finally realize that they have to come together. They have to form an alliance. They have to do what they have to do in order to bring the Wu-Tang and represent Staten Island the way it needs to be represented. So this was an amazing episode. Again, this is the build up. We're building up. We're, we're keeping it going. This is episode four to recap. Listen, family, this is about to really take off. So I absolutely got to pay attention to each and every part. But again, this was a dope episode. I like how they brought it together. I like how they finally just realized like, yo, together we can do great things. So again, we're going to do another recap for episode five. I'm looking forward to that next week. Definitely tune in. Again, subscribe to VKJ TV, and we're going to continue to make this happen for you. Again, it's VKJ. I'm out. Salute.